know that the civilization shaping our world today go far beyond Rome or Egypt. In fact, some of the most critical innovation in governance, architecture and trade came from empires you probably never even heard of. Stick with me until the end and I'll show you how these forgotten civilizations continue to influence the modern world in ways you won't believe. From legendary gods to secret engineer feats, these empires left more than just ruins. They lay the groundwork for our daily lives. Thanks for joining me in this episode. Let's dive into six ancient empires whose stories are still being written into the present day. While most history textbooks focus on Rome, Greece, and Egypt, they often skip over ancient empires whose legacies are still shaping politics, trade, and architecture today. Imagine how different our world would be without the innovation of the Achaemenid Persian Empire, the Maurya Empire, the Persians, and even the Kingdom of Axum, among others. We begin with the Achaemenid Empire, found by Cyrus the Great. As stretching from the Balkans to the Indus Valley, this was the first Persian Empire. What made them revolutionary was their bureaucratic governance, a system of provinces or satrapies governed by regional satraps. Sounds familiar? That's because this model influenced everything from Roman Empire to today's federal systems and the respect for different cultures and religions promote stability, serving as an early example of cultural pluralism as still present in modern governance. Then there's Persepolis, the ceremonial capital, built into a mountain site. This city boasts massive stone platforms and towering columns, a testament to Persian wealth and power. Even in ruins, it remains all spiring. Its grand staircase and intricate relief carvings offer a glimpse into the empire at its peak. But here's the myth that truly elevates their story. Cyrus the Great was believed to be protected by Ahura Mazda, the Zoroastrian god of wisdom. It's said that this divine intervention allowed him to expand his empire to become one of the largest the world has ever seen. Could their success have been guided by something beyond the physical? In ancient times, war and conquest seemed inevitable, but the story of this empire reminds us that change is possible. Even a powerful conqueror like Cyrus could grow into a leader who valued peace and cultural unity over mere domination. This transformation shows us that as societies, we can choose a path of standing instead of conflict. Next, let's move to the Mauryan Empire, one of the largest empires on the Indian subcontinent. Founded by Shandagupa Maira, their governance philosophy was guided by Shanakias Afanasra, an ancient theatre of statecraft, economic and military strategy. Their focus on economic stability and social welfare echoes through today's political thought with advanced spy networks and administrative techniques that seems unholy modern. Their greatest engineer feat, Ashoka Pillars. As some monuments inscribed with edicts promoting morality, tolerance, and nonviolence, the Sarna Lai capital is a still Indian's national emblem. But let's not forget the mystical twist. After the bloody conquest of Kalinga, Emperor Ashoka had a vision of the Naga, serpent gods guiding him toward peace and Buddhist enlightenment. Could these mythical beings have influenced his dramatical transformation from a ruthless conqueror to a beacon of peace? Now we head to the Middle East, where the Persian Empire ruled for nearly five centuries. Overshadowed by Rome, they were, in fact, master of trade. They created a network connected the Roman Empire with China's Han Dynasty, laying the groundwork for what would become the Silk Road, the very foundation of modern global commerce. And their architectural genius is best seen in Hatra, a fortified city with thick walls and arches that resist Roman sieges. The blend of Greco-Roman and Middle Eastern styles astonish archaeologists even today. Sadly, much of Hatra has been damaged in recent years, but the surviving ruins stand as a testament to the Persian engineer brilliance. But let's not forget the legend that hovers over the Persians, the stories of the armies being guided by the Simuch, 
a mythical bear believed to bring them fortune. Some even say that this creature gave Persian warriors their near supernatural ability to fire arrows while retreating, known as the Persian shot. Could this mythical power have been the real secret behind their military success? In modern-day Ethiopia, the kingdom of Aksum was a boasting trade empire. They were pioneers of coinage in Africa, facilitating trade across the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean. They also became one of the first empires to adopt Christianity, shaping the religious landscape of Africa in ways that are still visible today. One of their greatest legacies is the obelisk of Askum, towering stone structure cave from single pieces of granite some reaching 24 meters in height. This obelisk marked royal tombs, and one, which was looted by Italy and later returned, still stands tall today. But Askum was fascinating connection made to biblical lore. Legend holds that the Ark of Covenant, the sacred relic said to contain the tables of Moses, is guarded by Aksumite priests in the church of Our Lady Mary of Zion. This myth ties Askum to the mythical narratives of the three world religions. The Sassanian Empire was a powerhouse of culture and science. Their innovation in medicine, astronomy and architecture, particularly the use of dooms and arches, influenced not just Islamic architecture but also modern structures. Their combination of Zoroastrian principles with legal governance laid the groundwork for many moral laws. Next time you pass a dome building, you can thank the Sassanians. Their crowning achievement the Takasha, the world's larger single pen brick arch. This enormous structure was the royal audience hall to the palace of Sesivon, designed to project Empire Grandia. The public collapse, its sights and ambition are still astonishing. Legend has it Rotsam, a legendary hero, full of demons and foreign invaders. His spirit is said to protect the Empire's borders. The Takasha stood as a reflection of this mythical strength. Finally, the Byzantine Empire, the eastern continuation of Rome whose influence is still deeply felt. The Olegan system, the Corpus Juris Civilis, became the basis for many modern legal codes in Europe, shaping the laws we live by today. But it's their preservation of ancient knowledge during the Dark Ages that cements their legacy. Much of Greek and Roman knowledge survived because of the Byzantines and their influence on Christianity. Especially Orthodox traditions remain strong. The architectural wonder of the Hagia Sophia, originally built as a Christian basilica, is still awe-inspiring. Its massive dome, which seems to float in heavens, was a groundbreaking achievement. So, converted to a mosque and later a museum, it remains one of the most significant architectural marbles in history. As for its spiritual foundation, Constantine the Great is said to have been guided by the vision of the Chirro, a symbol combining the first two letters of Christ's name in Greek. This divine sign reportedly led him to victory and played a role in making Christianity the empire's official religion. Isn't remarkable how these lesser-known empires continue to shape our world today? Their innovation in governance, trade and architecture are woven into the very fabric of our modern societies. Reflecting on these stories of these empires, I believe each of us can make a small difference by respecting different points of view and striving to create a more understanding world. I sincerely hope that current conflicts will also find a real solution soon as we all work towards a future of peace and cooperation. Now that you've seen the mythological and engineered marbles of these six ancient empires, which one surprised you the most? Drop a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more incredible stories from history. You won't want to miss out the next hidden gems from ancient civilizations.